your Imperial Majesty, Geralt of Rivia, and... Cyrilla Fiona Ellen Rhiannon, Queen of Sintra, Princess of Bruges, and Duchess of Sutton. Heiress to Innes Ard Skellig and Innes Ann Skellig, and suzerain of Atra and Abiara. Get used to it. Before long, every soul from Milfgaard to the Dragon Mountains will kneel before you. I did not expect you to keep your word, Witcher. Siri wanted to hear what you have to say. And she will. Your reward. Thanks. Carol? Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, and that makes an even one hundred. That is all of it. Initially here, please. Now forgive me. I wish to speak to my daughter. Follow me, sir. White Wolf, good to see you. Greetings, General. You had no trouble crossing the Ponta, I trust. None. I take it you crossed via the ford near Van Glean? It's fortunate you did not choose to ride through Rhind, a troubled region still. Radovid seeks to breach the front in the west. But he'll not succeed. Not before the princess becomes empress and we bring order to the area. Siri hasn't agreed to that yet. Yes, of course, she's tactful, not one to celebrate an offer not yet made. But this is not the kind of offer one refuses. Isn't it? Do you know any who would not like to be Emperor of Nilfgaard? Can you imagine? I thought only the wine-addled minds of bards and poets could give birth to such stories. The prodigal daughter of the most powerful ruler in the continent's history returns on the eve of his final triumph to embrace her inheritance. <laughs> Simpletons adore such stories as they do the princesses, ever beautiful and delicate who are Geralt, we're leaving. So nice to see you, my lady. Likewise. Time we were on our way. A shame you can't stay. I hope to continue this on another occasion. That makes one of us. Well? If he thinks he can buy me, he is sorely mistaken. By the way, that spectacle with the coin. What was that? Emperor's got lots. Couldn't see why he shouldn't share some with us. Is that what this was about? From the start? No. It's always been about you. Only you. It sure seemed like it was about the coin in there. Syria. If it wasn't, you shouldn't have accepted it. Say no more. I'll be over it by the time we reach Velen. After the Battle of Kaer Morhen, the defenders licked their wounds and mourned their losses, save Ciri, who began to plan her revenge. She woke Geralt one night and urged him to travel with her to Velen, to the top of Bald Mountain, where she knew she'd find Imlarith. She had decided he had to die.
men at Crow's Perch, they spoke of this place. Ard Serbin, home of the ladies of the wood. The peasants feared coming here, and the barons thought the ladies of the wood a terrifying tale for naughty children. Incidentally, I wonder how the baron is. Hanged himself after his wife died. Daughter's in Novigrad. A true shame. You actually know this area? Centuries ago, it was a hallowed site for druids. But then the crones arrived, destroyed the Velen Circle, and deformed the sacred oak atop the mountain. An important feast is observed here annually. The Sabbath, they call it. All the local folk attend. I suspect Imlareth attends too, as the crones guest. Seem to know it well. Havelock's a good tutor. We stand to find Imlareth here? You sure? Avalok told me of beings who commune with the NL Elves. They can be found in every part of our world. In Velen, the Crones do this. Apparently, Imlarith came here at Eridin's behest, to order the Crones to keep their eyes open and ears pricked, in case Avalok were to seek shelter in his Velen hideout. Took the order literally judging by all the ears hanging in the woods. Think Imlarith might still be here? He craves the pleasures of the flesh, wine, sex. The crones indulge him, flatter his ego. I'm certain he'd not let this opportunity pass, and will be on Bull Mountain for the Sabbath. Let's get this done. We must reach the peak. We'll find Imlarith there. The peasant folk of Velen call this night the Feast of Gifts. I've no idea why. <laughs> 